The goal in this problem is to find the total charge entering an ideal basic circuit element which is shown. The current waveform expression is given. So the current is 0 for time t less than 0 and for time t greater than equal to 0 the current is an exponential waveform. And looking at this exponential waveform this is actually a decaying exponential. So we can sketch the waveform of the current as follows. So time along the x-axis and the magnitude along the y-axis. The current is 0 for time t less than equal to 0. And then at time t 0, its magnitude is 20 amps. And then this current will dec decay and get to zero at about one millisecond. So we can sketch the, uh, the waveform as follows. Now we have to find the total charge entering the ideal basic circuit element. So we use the basic equation relating the charge and the current. So this equation is the charge is given by we have to integrate the current and the limits are from t naught to t and also we have to add the constant of integration which is the initial charge at time t naught. For this particular problem t naught is 0 and the element is initially uncharged so the initial charge is 0 coulombs. Now we can substitute the values and find an expression for the charge. So the charge is given by lower limit is t naught is 0 we keep the upper limit as t substitute the value of the current so this is 20 e raised to the power minus 5000 tau d tau and q0 is 0. So we can move the constant out of the integration. So we're left with the following. This integration can be easily solved uh, with the help of the following identity. So we have e raised power a t dt is 1 over a e raised power a t. So in our case the a is minus 5000. So we can apply this integration identity to solve. So we have e raised power 80, so e raised power minus 5000 tau over a, so minus 5000. And we have to substitute the limits from 0 to t. So we can move the, the constant out and what we're left with is minus 1 over 250 e raised power minus 5000 tau limits 0 to t. Now we can substitute the limits. So this is minus 1 over 250 e raised power minus 5000 t minus e raised power 0. We know that e raised power 0 is 1. So this exp and we can then move the minus side inside. So what we're left with is one over two raised one over two fifty one minus e raised to the power minus five thousand t. Hence we have a general expression for the charge. In order to find the total charge, we set 
time t is equal to infinity this gives us the total charge so substitute t is equal to infinity in this expression and what we get is the total charge is 1 minus e raised to the power minus infinity now e raised to the power minus infinity is 0 so this gives us 1 over 250 coulombs which is equal to 4 millicoulombs or 4000 microcoulombs we can also sketch the the charge waveform so we have time on the x-axis and the charge on the y-axis so this expression is a rising exponential so it is 0 for time t less than equal to 0 and then it will get to its final value at about 1 millisecond so something like this and this value is 4 millicoulomb. Hence we arrive at our final answer.